What's up guys, it's Mikey124 here, how is everybody doing? It's Friday, uh, no Battlefield Friday this week, I, I haven't brought you guys a Battlefield Friday in a couple weeks and I want to apologize for that, my schedule and my uh, uploading has been all over the place, and um, I've just been kind of uploading what I want, when I want, and I've been having fun doing it, and I've actually been getting a pretty good response from you guys, a lot of you guys are liking the variety you're seeing, right now you're seeing another episode of this Twisted Metal gameplay, I got so much of it, we finally beat the game, uh, the ending was Twisted, the title Twisted Metal, uh, supremely fits this game the story mode all the cgis were beautiful uh they incorporate real life actors with the cgi like computer animated uh effects and sweet tooth campaign was it was twisted as all hell and then the one after that was mr grim and then the last one was a new character called dollface and yeah, they're they're really cool. Uh, these videos, I'm not going to show you the the cutscenes. I could go back and record them because you can just easily and go go into like the your recently played levels or, or the b levels that you've already beaten and watch the cutscenes. So I could record them, but um, yeah, I didn't know how that would end up working out with like uh, Sony if they would have a problem with people posting the actual cutscenes and like the ending movies and whatnot all on the internet. Uh, usually, that's uh. A point of interest that like something they want to protect is like something that's, like has to do with buying the game. You you buy the game because you want to beat the story and know about the story. And I don't know how I would personally feel about giving away spoilers. Usually in most of my campaign gameplays that I've ever posted, I try and keep them spoiler free. That way, people who are looking for an achievement tip or like for example the Dead Space glitch that I posted, uh, the, they'll know that the achievement tip or the glitch is spoiler free, and you can watch it without uh, getting anything that you didn't want to learn yet. So um. Yeah, Friday, Friday, Friday. Today, uh, I was offered the day off by my boss, Jason. He asked me if I wanted to have the day off. I did already take a day off this week, though. I took off Tuesday for the funeral uh, for Erica's grandfather, and yeah, uh, I'm so, so torn. The start time's late today, too, so I think I would only work for maybe like three and a half hours. It's kind of a hike to drive all the way out there to work only three hours. But um, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Uh, I, I might end up going in. I might see what Eric is up to and end up hanging out with her but um yeah I saw a comment that sniper gunner left he said uh that 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 Gotham City gameplay that I posted this morning I posted it really early this morning reminded him of Team Fortress 2 so I might bring you guys some Team Fortress 2 I have orange box and uh I've only ever played it a handful of times but it's fun it's definitely different and it looks really cool I like uh I'm really liking Gotham City Imposters. If you guys didn't see that video, I'll post a link to it in the description just because I've been posting a lot lately. I haven't been getting a lot of views. I, I noticed that. I haven't really cared about how many views I'm getting because I'm not really like promoting my channel anymore. And um, you guys who really like me, my true subs and fans, you guys are um, still watching my stuff and still commentating or commenting on my stuff. So uh, I'm happy with that and I'm happy with where my channel's at. Uh, I do want to continue to grow it, but um, I'm just kind of doing it at my own pace and just kind of... Uh, enjoying putting out content and uh, yeah doing my own thing but yeah <clears throat> the gotham city imposters game i just downloaded or alex downloaded on his xbox uh i i loaded my gamer tag up to alex's xbox using like that new download profile uh feature and it's actually pretty fast compared to recovering your gamer tag uh for those of you back in the day who used to recover your gamer tag it would recover it based off of how much information you have saved on your gamer tag and myself i have 144,000 gamer score so that information from all those games would be included in my gamer tag. Like if I move my my profile from my memory unit to my hard drive on my Xbox, it's like 79 or 80 megabytes, which is ginormous for a profile. Uh, normally, when you just start a profile, uh, like with nothing on it, no gamer score, no anything, it's like six KB or six uh, megabytes or five megabytes. And I think all of that is just like avatar stuff. But um, yeah, the Gotham City Imposters game is a breath of fresh air. Definitely, it is really, really fun. It, I'm getting my butt kicked in it. My my KD is not very good. There's a character that you start off with just has like normal amount of health, like I think 180 hit points, and then the the bigger version of the character, like the the minion guy, I think is his title. He has 280 hit points, so he's just like so so much more uh, dominant. Like I've been doing a lot better with him. Um, the only secondary I have is the launcher so far, like that little RPG, I realize I'm a noob, but like why would you put a launcher in the hands of a noob and <laughs> expect me to not do stuff like that if, um, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I, I urge you to go check out this video, it's, it's pretty cool, I put a Hoodie Allen song up to it, um, Hoodie Allen tweeted to me yesterday, or, uh, responded to one of my tweets, so... Yeah, he just gave me like an, oh yeah, he's making some new music, and yeah, I'll, I'll be sure to try and post some of that over here once I, once I finally get my hands on that. 
So, yeah, um, yeah, this gameplay is briefly, or coming up to an end pretty soon. I wanted to, uh, talk about the Modern Warfare 3 tournament. I have not played Modern Warfare 3 in a while, but I still want to do that one versus one tournament, and I'm thinking I'm going to do it like a March Madness. Um, Woody's Gamertag did, like, that commentator March Madness, which, by the way, would be, like, my all-time dream. I wish, I wish, I wish I could be a part of that commentator March Madness if you were to do it again. But, um, anyways, I want to do my, uh, my tournament like that. I want to have, like, 16 players, and, um, yeah, I want to do this in March. I want to try and kick it off on March 1st. Uh, those of you guys who know that you're playing, um, I still need to fill up the tournament. If you, if you want to play in my Xbox Live, one versus one, uh, Modern Warfare 3 tournament, let me know, private message me, or leave a comment here, and I'll add your name to the list. Right now, I think the list contains 11 people, and I'm, I'm gunning for 16. So if I can get five more people, uh, that would be awesome. I'm going to try and give you guys like a cash prize, maybe a $20 Microsoft uh, point card or three-month card, wh whichever you prefer. But um, yeah, I want to try and do something different and fun and incorporate you guys because you guys are my friends. You guys are my subs, whatever, but like I'm not going to treat you guys like like I'm trying to make something off of you. I want I want you guys to have fun with the channel too. So I, uh, I will leave this video off right here. The song at the beginning was DJ Farsider, and I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, leave me a like and a favorite, and I'll love you long time. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Peace.